A few years ago, you would need a handful of tools if you wanted to find keywords for your content and SEO strategy, especially if you want to figure out what your competitors are doing in this space and how you can beat them. But today, I'm going to teach you how to do all of that with one tool and best of all, for free. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm going to teach you how to find hundreds of thousands of SEO keywords for free. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. So what's this tool? Well, you can probably guess it. It's Ubersuggest. It's my own marketing tool and it's free. I'm not making money off of this. Technically, the more of you that use it, the more it costs me in server costs. But what I'm going to do is break down how you can find hundreds of thousands of keywords for free. So first, on Ubersuggest, there's different type of keyword reports. If you type in a keyword like dog, you're going to see some basic keyword options. You're going to see some suggested keywords, related keywords, but there's also questions, comparisons, and prepositions. This is important because this shows you other keywords that people are typing in that not too many people are targeting. When someone has a question, they're looking for answer. And if you can provide the answer and your answer is your product or service, you can bet you're going to generate some sales. Comparisons, if someone's comparing one company to another, you can bet they're ready to make a decision. These are all examples of good keywords. Same with prepositions. It's another place to find amazing keywords that most people aren't touching. Now, once you figure out the keywords from the comparisons, prepositions, questions, I want you to go into your articles that already get traffic and Ubersuggest will show you that. So if you type in your domain name, you'll see a report that is the traffic analyzer overview. Now, if you scroll down, you go to top pages, you'll see your top pages and you click on keywords. It'll show you all the keywords that drives traffic to those top pages. Take those keywords, type them in into Ubersuggest. When you type those keywords in, you'll be able to find questions, comparisons, and prepositions for all those keywords. Once you find those, take those keywords that Ubersuggest spits out in the keyword ideas report and then go and integrate them into those top pages that are already ranking for the head terms. Because here's the thing, if you already rank for head terms, it's really easy to rank for the comparison terms, the preposition terms, the long tail terms. It's one of the simplest tricks. Just think of it this way. If you rank for the term credit cards, don't you think it would be really easy to rank for bad debt credit cards or free credit cards or low interest rate credit cards? Of course, why they're all long tail variations of that term and it's going to be harder to rank for the head term than the long tail phrases. So if you're taking keywords that you already rank for, it's much easier to rank for them. The next thing I want you to do is type in a competitor URL into Ubersuggest. When you type in a competitor URL into Ubersuggest, it'll show you all the keywords that they're ranking for. All you have to do is scroll down, click on keywords. It'll show you the SEO keywords that your competitors are ranking for. And you can go through them and this will give you an idea of all the keywords that they're ranking for. Now, I want you to do one other thing. You've already typed in your competitor URLs. Go to their top pages. This will show you that the type of content that they're creating. Now that you've seen the type of content that they're creating, here's what you can do that's really cool. You can see the keywords that each of those pieces of content are ranking for, and you can see who's linking to that content piece. Now, before you go and you create a similar piece of content, I want you to type in that article, right? Take a few words from that article, the main keywords that they're going after, type it into Ubersuggest and click on content ideas. This content ideas report will show you all the blog articles that are very similar to your competitors. Take them all, look at the content, and make sure that whatever you're writing is better than all the ones there. And Ubersuggest will show you all the keywords that each of those articles are ranking for as well. This will give you ideas of keywords that you should integrate into your blog post. In addition to that, you now have a list of all the people that are linking to your competitors. You should hit them all up and beg them for a link and tell them how your version provides more value and break down how and be very specific on how they should consider linking to you as well. Now, another thing that I would do if you want to get the most value out of Ubersuggest is go and look right in Ubersuggest, go to the site audit report. It'll show you all the duplicate titles and meta descriptions that you have. You already have found all these new keywords. Go and make sure you don't have duplicate titles and meta descriptions and go and look to see if you can integrate any of these new keywords that you've researched 
into any of the duplicate titles and meta descriptions, because by fixing it, it'll also help you increase your rankings as well. So there's a lot of other features in Ubersuggest. I just want to show you those because it helps you find way more keywords. That's how I've grown my traffic on neilpatel.com to now over 5.5 million visitors a month. That's right, over 5.5 million visitors every single month, and I'm getting over 16 million page views. That's a lot of traffic. If you need help growing your traffic, you can check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, tell the people about it. If you have any questions on how to get the most out of Uber suggested keyword research, leave a comment below and I'll help you answer it.